Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen of the Zoo Game community? My name is Mr. or Mr. Mr. Gamer, and welcome to a fix for one of the largest problems that I've had in my YouTube hobby. And this problem it relates to the How to Get Sony Vegas Pro 13 video that I've done about three months ago. And the problem is there's a missing patch KHG folder. Like, there's nothing there, or the folder's there, but there's a missing application. People are like, ugh, how do I get, the, where is it? So they go back to my video and they see that I have it, and it's like, whoa, where is it? And I came up with a few tips to see, the, to see you know, what fixes it. And I have a few of my own tips that hopefully this works for you. Now, if none of these tips work for you, you have to get in contact with me either through Skype, either through YouTube, or through Twitter, through whatever seems comfortable to you. Um, I need to make sure because Sony Vegas Pro is very important to have if you want to have a successful YouTube career or YouTube hobby or whatever you're doing it for. In my case, I'm doing it for hobby, but you know, it all depends. Everyone's different. So, let's, without further ado, let's get into this. So, you have a missing patch KHG, you disable your antivirus, what the hell could this be? So, the number one thing is, is I believe what people completely miss is disabling their antivirus. Now, it might be like so pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of people do forget that. So you have to make sure you disable it. So for me, I'm Norm360. This probably works for AV, a, AVG, um, some other antivirus, you know, whatever. You want to make sure they disable it. So for me, you go into Norm360, right-click, and then disable. Well, it should be actually enabled, but uh, it's disable antivirus uh, auto protect so I could do it permanently I can do it, you know choose your time it gives you a brief summary of what happens if you were to cancel it or I should say disable it and that's what you need to do for this KHD patch to work now um, why does your computer recognize it as virus I don't know probably because it's a patch and it's not really licensed by Windows and Windows doesn't know what to do with it so it automatically thinks it's a virus but I can guarantee you guys this is not a Trojan malware virus sneaky worm that gets in your computer that can never get out no it's not it's completely legit legit and it will not cause any harm to your computer um, yeah so wanted to get that straight there it's not a virus so you want to make sure they have your antivirus disabled now if you don't have like an antivirus it could also be your Windows firewall because Windows actually has a sort of built-in uh, kind of antivirus so to disable it you want to go to your Windows and type in firewall and go to Windows firewall right here and go ahead and disable it in here now me I mine as you can see these settings are managed by uh, Norm 360 so um, if you don't have any antivirus application a third-party antivirus application other than the windows they have then just um, disable it in Windows firewall that should work hopefully um, also um, try, you know, this probably won't work for that problem, but this kind of like it's a fix. Uh, some people are having trouble running the cat patch KHG. Make sure you run it as admin or administrator. You want to make sure you run everything as administrator. If you're not admin for your computer, get your parents or whoever is admin on your computer to log in just so you can get those admin privileges and so you can get the application working properly. So, uh, another and a an other thing that actually Windows has is a Windows. Uh, it's it's called a uh, I believe it's Windows uh, it's um, I forget the name of it but yeah it's a Windows smart screen that's that's yeah it's a Windows smart screen and Windows smart screen is kind of like a other antivirus kind of built in and it will not let applications open up if they are not registered if they're not accepted by Windows so here as you guys can see Windows smart screen can help your PC safer by warning you before running unrecognized apps and files downloaded from the internet. So you want to ch change warn or whatever one it is. Uh, make sure you have it on. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. And this will allow the application to boot up without any issue. So you want to make sure they have it set to don't do anything. Now when you have that all set and everything's disabled, your antivirus is disabled, your Windows smart screen is disabled, and you feel like, you know, nothing, nothing going to go wrong, go ahead and re-download the file. It's around 349 uh, megabytes. So just delete it completely from your hard drive, reinstall it, 
and re-download it and again go through the setup, go through the patch and see if it's still there. Again, if there's if this if you know none of these tips don't work for you, please let me know. Um, see if I can help you. I may not be able to help you because every PC is different, but hopefully there's at least a few uh, PC specs or PC information that we have in common just so I'm able to help you out. So um, again, if none of these tips work for you, please get in contact with me somehow, if that's via Skype, if that's via YouTube or Twitter, whatever feels comfortable to you, please do that. Um, but I'll try to respond to everyone. Again, if there's any issues, please PM me. And that's basically the fixes for this problem. And that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video is helpful to you in any way, please like rating and uh, share, share this with other people who may be having a similar problem. That's basically it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.